Hey folks, this is Sean McCormick. And in this short video, we're going to look at accessing the resources folder inside the LOB portfolio plugin. The main problem is that on Mac, plugins are treated as package files. So although they are actually folders, you can't access them directly. You need to get inside them by using a right click. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally show it to you. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to Lightroom, Preferences on Mac. On PC, you'll find the Preferences uh, inside the Edit menu. So you go edit, you go, sorry, Lightroom, preferences. And then what you go is there's a couple of tabs in the top, which are make sure you're on presets. And then you come down and you go show Lightroom presets folder. So here's our Lightroom presets folder. If you double click, we go inside that. And inside here, we go down to the bottom and we find web galleries. Double click on that. And we can see we have LRB portfolio. Now, like as I say on a Mac, this is a single file. And you need to access it by right clicking or control clicking and go show package contents. This will open the inside of the file. Go down the bottom and we can see that we have the resources folder. We open that. And inside that we have our images folder. And these are the images that are currently inside it. Um, you have things like the avatar and then you have the background images. So you would just drop the image like your avatar image or your background image in, in here and then you will access it from inside the, the plugin. So I'm just going to go back here for a second and go to web Okay, so we're in web now, and we have LRB Portfolio 2.4 selected. So we're going to go down to the font and body section, which is below the gallery information. We can see that we have body background image here, and it's got the default one, which is BG4. Now, there's a couple of other background images that just happen to be in there, so if we want, I can just kind of change this 4 for a 2. And we can kind of see a little bit over here. But what I can do is to see everything, I can just go repeat so you can see that that shows up everywhere now this kind of repeating background of this kind of shape is kind of a little bit tacky but it's just to demonstrate that you can actually put images in like that you can repeat horizontal which means it'll just go across the top or vertical means it just goes down the side and no repeat uh, just has a single one now you can just drop any background you want into the resources folder and away you go it, it works the same as well for the about page with the avatar um, so you can just have that image selected there if we go up to the about page here and um, we can see that it's resources images slash to the avatar then the picture name now there isn't a dot dot slash the reason for that is because the uh, bo the body background is actually inside the CSS file which is down a level so you have to go back up a level to get to it that's essentially why that's like that so that basically is how you do it